strange thing. Cool stuff. Strange thing. Real cool stuff. <laughs> really strange thing. Overcoming all medical odds and societal scoffs, leaving their home in the East to be poked by doctors and pointed at by spectators in the West, Chang and Ang Bunker made the best of their unique condition. Inspiring the term Siamese twins, Chang and Ang are the world's most famous conjoined twins. Siamese, please. Born in 1811 in a fishing village 60 miles from Bangkok, the twins had their roots more in China than in Siam. From birth, their sternums were connected by a small piece of cartilage, but believe it or not, the rest of their systems operated completely independently from one another. So even though their livers were fused, one could be drunk while the other was stone cold sober. Which is a good thing since Chang's weakness was the booze. Don't worry though, they both had their vices. Aang was known to go on gambling benders all night long playing poker. From a young age, their mother encouraged them to exercise, stretching their connecting tissue so that it gradually measured more than five inches long, allowing the boys to have a little more wiggle room. Although very individual, Chang was always a little bit shorter, the twins had an inseparable experience. This story would have never been told if it weren't for Scottish merchant Robert Hunter, who spotted the boys swimming. He realized their potential as a sideshow attraction in the West and paid their parents to take the 18-year-old brothers away as human oddities. They toured for 10 years, eventually ending their contract with Hunter and managing themselves, later enjoying life as Southern gentlemen, plantations, slaves, and all. That and all leads to romance. Chang and Ang began pursuing a pair of farmer's daughters next door, but it was an unusual courtship. Chang and the so-called more attractive sister, Adelaide, fell in love while Ang and her sister Sarah were lukewarm. It took Sarah five whole years to agree to marry Ang, but both couples tied the knot in 1843. This wedding, however, stirred up a scandal. People considered it bestial, a foursome at the very least, but I mean, they all slept in an enlarged and strengthened marital bed built for four, Chang and Ang in the middle, flanked by their wives on either side. If those walls could talk, because Chang and Ang never publicly discussed this private matter. But to put it in perspective, the couples both gave birth to their first children only six days apart. Wonder how that happened. And Chang and Ang went on to father, get this, 21 children. Yeah. With the end of the Civil War and the freedom of their slaves came financial ruin for the Bunker family. They went back to the sideshow, often taking their children with them on the road, but had little success. This time, in front of audiences far and wide, the Bunkers were forced to come face to face with those who viewed their completely natural desire to pursue a normal family life as a devilish abomination. Because of this, Chang started drinking heavily, often leaving his sober brother to care for the drunken man attached to him. While Aang was healthy, Chang's health started to deteriorate, and during a bout of bronchitis, he passed away in his sleep. Awaking to find his dead brother attached to him, Aang panicked. A doctor was called to remove the dead brother, but Chang announced that he was also going to die too, and shortly after, he did just that. Thanks for watching Strange Things. If you enjoyed this episode, make sure you let us know with a thumbs up. If you really enjoyed it, you can check out Chang and Ang themselves at the Mütter Museum in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, where the brothers' bodies were cast and examined. An exam that revealed the twins would have had zero chance of surviving a separation. Stay tuned and subscribe because I'll be back next week with more cool stuff and strange things.